Hi, so this is a follow up video. It took me roughly like two hours to figure out how to take out the back cover for my Legion 5 Pro. I think it's only half done still yet. Uh, the only thing which was able to go in was a plastic card. Uh, I think it's still pretty rigid. So uh, since I was in the process, I thought, you know, I will just film it so you guys can see it as well along with me. So I'm trying to figure out how to really take out the, the last back part of, of the back cover. I have been able to successfully take it out partially from the front. I'm not really sure if the side winds are actually part of this lid or not. Or maybe they are. Oh, so this is the tricky part. So you guys could really need to know that you don't have to follow this line here it actually is connected with this side winds because I was trying to push hard in between the winds here this is wrong so they're actually connected damn I think I would have broken my laptop <laughs> previously so this was like one of the hardest ones um, I've done yet for any of my laptops since before. So I think one of the screws are still tied. Uh, this is this one. Yeah. So finally, finally, I can see something inside. So these are the cooling covers. Uh, this already looks dusty. So I think the already the the NVMe which is installed is here that's what I saw in the video so I assume this one is the one which is empty so let's try it out I'm not really sure how this thing comes out there's another screw here There's another one on the right and left of the heat cover. So let me just take this out. Oh, there's another one near the fan. So you have to take all three of them out. Thing assembly wise this laptop quality is pretty good uh, even the PCB looks very decent and nice uh, so let me just quickly install my SSD and give it a boot I just need to take out this one screw which went near the motherboard So as you guys know, majority of my uploads are just raw footages. I'm not making an edited versions of these videos. So what you guys see is the real thing. Okay. It's kind of weird that in person I can actually I cannot see any of the dust here, but when I see it through the the camera of the phone, it looks dirty. Okay, so I'm going to take out my SSD. So I bought a good one. This is a XPG 
SX8200 Pro. This is rated as pretty pretty high performance. They have very good reviews. So here's the stick. I just have to sh make sure that whether I can install it with the heatsink or without because it comes with the heatsink. So it can actually go over over it, but I think they have a vapor chamber, so it might not be required to have this heat sink over it, but let me just put it put it on it anyways. So so that it just looks sexier. Yeah. So now I will just take out the screw for the SSD. These screws are like really small so you guys have to be really careful when you're installing the SSDs. So I think installing is pretty straightforward. Just put the screw back. Wow, the screw is like really small. I think my screwdriver is doesn't feel like magnetic anymore. So I really have to catch the screws properly. My God. So I finally managed to put the heat sink and the SSD properly in place. So I'm just re putting the screws for the waiver chamber kind of a thing for, for this laptop. Yeah, so I think uh, let me just put the screws first. So it's easier to put them in place and screw them back. The worst part is these screws will keep falling off and you have to make sure that you don't get them beneath the board or something else. So you have to be really smart while putting this back. Yeah, so my new SSD is in place perfectly. I'm going to put back the back lid, the black enclosure. Yeah, so remember the side exhaust are actually part of the back cover. Don't follow the line, it actually goes with the side winds. Now when you're putting it back, you have to put a slight force so that the back enclosure gets their groove on before you can really push it, push the screws in. Yeah, so I think we are good to go. So just to see whether we are in good shape. I will actually boot up my laptop and see if I haven't messed up with anything.
but let's see if we can find the new disk so it already found out the new disk make it a new volume Yeah, so we are ready to go and I will be now installing more and more games for your era review so stay tuned on the channel and I shall be posting more reviews in the near future so like and subscribe and see you in the next video